The European Union, EU, and China are entering a crucial phase of discussions, focusing on finding alternative solutions to the looming tariffs on electric vehicles, EVs, made in China. With the EU contemplating tariffs of up to 35% following its anti-subsidy investigation, both sides sense the urgency of exploring workable alternatives that would benefit their respective markets and economies. Central to these discussions is the idea of establishing minimum price commitments from Chinese manufacturers. This approach aims to create a level playing field and reduce the risk of punitive tariffs that could impact consumer choice in Europe. Encouraging investments in the European market serves as yet another potential avenue to foster collaboration, providing a more stable environment for EV production and sales. Trade leaders from both sides have confirmed their dedication to reaching a fair agreement in alignment with World Trade Organization WTO, regulations. EU Trade Chief Valdis Dombrovskis and Chinese Minister of Commerce Wang Wentao are at the forefront, advocating for a balanced approach that would aim to alleviate trade tension. Wang has pointed to the necessity of a bilateral communication mechanism, which would serve as a framework for monitoring and implementing any price commitments that emerge from the ongoing negotiations. Despite the optimistic outlook, significant gaps remain between the two parties. The EU Commission has already conducted eight rounds of technical negotiations, yet there are still unresolved issues that need addressing. China's openness to continuing dialogue is a positive sign, reflecting a commitment to finding common ground amid complex trade dynamics. On another front, Dombrovskis has raised alarms about China's investigations into EU products like brandy, pork, and dairy. The EU has labeled these inquiries as unwarranted, while China asserts that its investigations are in strict compliance with its domestic laws and WTO regulations. This tension underscores the multifaceted nature of trade relations between the two economic giants. As both the EU and China strategize on the EV tariff issue, their collaboration could lead to a more fruitful relationship that ultimately enhances fair competition in the electric vehicle landscape. The outcome of these talks may not only influence their bilateral relations, but could also set a precedent for global trade practices surrounding rapidly growing sectors like electric vehicles.